Good morning. Hey, hey, hey. Welcome to Wake Up and Airbrush. My name is Dorothy, aka Heather 2.0. Heather is not here today, and I know you guys are so, so missing her. She is usually here every day, um, and she's sick, and she misses you guys so much. So she asked me to go ahead and come in here and to you know, do a live because here's the thing. She really did not want you guys to miss having a live. She knew that, um, that y'all love the demonstrations. And so she asked me to pop on here and to do a live demo for you and to let you know that she really, really misses y'all and is sad. She's sick. So Hit your girl up, send her some DMs, tell her how much you love her and that you hope she gets better soon. And she'll be back. I'm sure she'll be back Monday after she recovers from whatever stuff she picked up from the holidays. We know how that goes, right? So I am here today to just do a demo with you. As you can see, we are all natural. And you, please, please, please ask questions. Please post comments. Please ask anything that you have. But I am to actually talk about um, powder first. Here's the funny thing about airbrushing. Um, I'm not a big powder girl fan. Like I grew up in the era to where you had to powder. And when we started, or when I started with Luminous, Heather was like, hey, you should powder before you airbrush. And I was like, what? Um, I've been airbrushing for over 20 years. Heather and I have been colleagues in the industry for almost 20 years. And so um, the thing about airbrushing is knowing your product, knowing your tools, knowing your canvas. Okay. You've got your canvas. You've got your tools. Hey, Laurie, you've got your tools and, and knowing your product. Well, with coming to Luminate, I had to get to know my product because I had used any and every other uh airbrush makeup system out there. And so I really did have to get to know that product. But when she said powder before you airbrush, I was like, you're crazy. <laughs> Not doing that. But I really loved it. And so I think that's what we're going to do today. We're going to do the powder before you airbrush look so that you guys can see it and so that you can um, really check it out and enjoy it. So here is one of the things before we do that, I need to put on a reminder for the best result. Remember, always keep it moving. You got to always keep your brush and your stylus or your breeze moving. Also, you know it, four finger whistle away. And here's the other thing that was really interesting whenever I changed from my a traditional airbrush system to the breeze. This little trigger right here, like you can get trigger happy real quick, real quick. And so it really is one of those that you have to pull very, very, very lightly on that trigger to get that lightness. Okay, so let's get started with today's demo. I have my lashes on because I just um, didn't want to mess with putting mascara on. I wanted to do more of the the full coverage with the different products and do the powder. And so um, let me know what you think about this particular look as we keep going, because it's going to be very interesting to see it go on. Normally, do we see this? Y'all see that right there? I burnt myself this morning with the flat iron. I have not flat ironed my hair in like four years. And I thought I'll do it this morning. And I burnt myself. So we get to cover that lovely little up today. And it was, you know, one of those fun things. But let me remove this. I wanted to let you guys know before we get going. Oh, wait, let me get over here so you can see me now. Cyber deals. Check them out. Make sure that you sign up for these cyber deals. They are amazing. If you have cosmetics that you need to get, Get them. I'll put it back up at the end of the thing so that you can check them out. All righty, let's get going. So my first favorite to prep any of my looks is the Bulgarian Rose Mist. Have you guys tried this? Like seriously, have you tried it? Um, 
when I first got it in, I was like, mm, yeah, we'll see. I don't know how I feel about it, but I will tell you, in prepping the skin, especially under the eyes, because the skin under our eyes is significantly thinner than the skin anywhere else on our face. It is definitely, definitely one of those places that needs extra hydration. And so the Bulgarian rose mist is phenomenal. Plus, it smells really good. I'm just saying it smells really good. And so I love the Bulgarian rose mist. And I believe it might be in our Cyber Monday deal. So check it out. Check it out. Okay. I think I put too much in because we're still spraying and I'm still getting it. So I should be very hydrated and prepped, right? I should. I should. Okay. Let's see. Oh, Danielle. Okay. Oh, Laurie, you powder before you start. See, I, I thought she was crazy because here's the thing. As a traditional makeup artist and as an airbrush makeup artist, as you get over 40, like less is more. Truly, truly less is more. And so I just don't powder. If my foundation formula can't handle, and I'm not oily. So if you're oily, I can understand you needing to powder. But um, I'm not oily. And so I was, I just, it settles in, it looks heavier. And I like to have good looking, younger looking, fresh skin. And so that is why <laughs> I don't powder because it's a little bit heavier than I prefer. I'm not throwing shade at people that like it. It's just my personal preference. So when she said that, I was like, mm, I know what powder does to my skin. I don't think so, but I did it. And so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to place the powder. Ooh, look, do you see the big old puff of powder there? Yes. I popped it on there. Now I'm not going to go under my eyes with it because I don't want to add any more under that thin skin uh, on that thin skin than I need to. So I'm just not. Now the trick is to, uh, as to why this works so well, I'll tell you at the end. Remind me if I don't say it between now and then, Remind me to tell you why this works so well. Once I thought about the science behind it, because that's what, as a, a professional makeup artist, that's what we do. We we know the science behind it. Um, once I thought about the science behind it, I was like, that's brilliant. Of course, that's why I like it so much, but I'll tell you at the end what that is. Okay, so because I have this lovely burn on my forehead and I have age spots on the side and I have an age spot on, over this eyebrow, um, from a motorcycle wreck I had when I was 13. Yeah, those things that happen when you're younger, they come back and show up when you get older. Um, normally, I use eraser. And as a matter of fact, I think I will. I think I'm going to do two different types of free coverage. Okay, don't, don't get down on me. And I'm going to explain why I'm going to do two different types of free coverage. I'm going to use the eraser because I'm really, really fair. Like, really fair. <laughs> I'm probably in the lightest portion that they have, 10, 20, 30 is a little too warm. And so um, I'm going to use the eraser for the pre-coverage under my eyes because that's where I would normally use a concealer, the lighter. And in the eraser, you know, the eraser is really a light color. So it being a light color. I am I'm wanting to highlight that portion under the eyes. You see my dark circles? Like, they're no joke. They, they are no joke here. So having that, I want to really lighten that up as much as I can with the pre-coverage and give that little bit of lightness and luminosity. Now, if you will notice, I am much closer than four inches. And that's because I'm doing it in a very small, very, very light space. Okay. And I know that the four finger whisk away is what we do when we are doing our uh, foundation. And that is great. And that is fine. But when you're coming in very close, it's okay to be, or when you're doing a small area, concentrated. Good morning, Cindy. Um, it is okay to come in closer. And it is okay to um, 
to just go a little lighter with the finger and come in a little closer. And yes, I know I look like a reverse raccoon right now, but this is pre-coverage. Hold on just a second. Had to get a paper towel. <laughs> this is pre-coverage. And so I'm not trying to completely cover everything up, right? I'm not. That's not my goal here. My goal is to add a little bit of lightness under these really dark bags that are under my eyes. Okay, the second coverage that I'm going to use is X Out. Ah, that's what you do, Lori. Awesome. X Out is another pre coverage concealer that we have. Why am I using this instead of the eraser now? Because this is lighter and I like that lightness under my eyes, and I'm very fair, so for me, eraser's great. <laughs> That's usually what I use all over, but to cover this bad boy, that is where I would normally do a um, contour, so why would I put a lighter pre-coverage on that versus a darker pre-coverage if I'm going to go ahead and contour? Yeah, and I don't even really know that my little burn mark there needs pre-coverage, so I'm only going to use two drops, but I am going to hit it with the pre-coverage because I want to um, really look into it and, and really get the, get the burn mark off my forehead. I mean, it's smack dab in the middle. You can see it, and so I'm using the darker cover and the darker color because I don't want it to work against my contour. See, I'm thinking ahead of what I want to accomplish in with this. And so using that pre-coverage, that's why there's so many great options. That's why there's so many products that you can use, that you can mix, and that you can really make and customize your look with. It really is awesome. All righty. Right, right there was enough to really help us and to really like take the red down. I'm going to give it a couple minutes. Uh, do you know how Heather talks about the blush and it blooming, right? She talks about the blush and when you put the blush on, give it a second and it blooms. It's the same thing with the foundation. When you use the, the airbrush foundation, it heats up with your skin and because it's only pigment. It's just pigment. There's no, they add some things in it, but really it's just pigment. And so when it heats up with your skin, it starts to do its magic. So you can give it a second to do its magic. Okay, so flesh time. And again, I'm going to do it in reverse because I like the, the, the concept of that. I know it's different than what we're accustomed to in traditional makeup, but I think um, it's a brilliant concept for blending because, and, and don't, don't kill me when I say this, <laughs> um, it, the airbrush blends it once I put the foundation on at the very end. That's like my top coat of making it all just flawlessly do what I want it to do. So if I get a little finger happy or a little trigger happy and I get a little hot spot and crazy, or I start looking like I got too rosy of a rosy cheek. It's all good. It's all covered. So I'm going to go in with the blush. Go ahead and put that in there. And add that on there. All righty. So looky there. It looks like I have a fever and I'm blushing and it's not even bloomed yet. I may have used one or two mini drops, but that's okay. Because I'm going to soften that up. I'm going to soften that up with our foundation. Okay. I know I'm going through a lot of products today, guys. I know I am. But here's what I know. Heather has done an amazing job giving you the foundation tools of how to airbrush, how to do it well, how to do it correctly in her small group classes and all of that. And so I just wanted to kind of shake it up a little bit and do a little bit more advanced things with a little bit different products. You know, it's a different vibe. It's okay. Different is good. We like different. We like to shake things up and do it differently as I'm shaking things up. Okay. So I am also going to blend and do things a little bit differently with the foundation. I am a blending connoisseur. Even with my traditional foundation, my traditional makeup, you can send me the best palette out there. 
lip palette and I'm probably going to blend them all and create my own lip colors. So this is the rose. Now this is the rose foundation and it's, that is not my color, <laughs> but it's okay because this is what I'm using as my contour. Okay. I, um, I don't necessarily, I don't have a bronzer. I don't have one of the bronzers in my kit here. And so guess what? I use a darker color foundation as my contour. Now, tell me, I, I really don't do well just talking straight to a camera. And so interact with me, guys. Tell me where I need to contour because contouring is different than bronzing and Heather teaches that. And the contouring really is where I want to take the emphasis away, make look a little smaller or more defined versus bringing it out, right? So I highlighted underneath here, I used my eraser to cover up my dark circles and also to, to bring attention to my right under my eyes. But when I contour, um, where am I going to contour? Okay, Lori says the cheeks. Yes, I have very sharp cheekbones. Um, I recently lost 70 pounds. And so I went from a very full face <laughs> and contouring hardcore to if I contour really heavy now um, on my cheekbones, I look like I have a hollow face and I almost look sick. So yes, Lord, I do contour on my cheeks just a hair, but I also really, there you go, Lori, I contour my forehead because I have a little bit of a recess hairline. And so I want an oval shaped face for the most part. And so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this and I'm going to hit my little temple areas right here where, you know, it's a little light and kind of create that oval shape. Now for me, I'm staying away from my temples because if you see my face from the side, it does that little dip for my cheekbones. So if I actually hit contour right here, then I'm really going to look like a skeleton head. And we don't want that. We, we don't want that at all. Okay, so I'm going to keep going into this hairline. And I'm going to stay away from my temples. I'm going to come into here and highlight that cheekbone. Highlight that cheekbone. And I'm going to hit that double chin, girl. I'm going to hit it, hit it. Because I may not have fat there, but I have a lot of extra loose skin from the weight loss. And so whether it's full or whether it's skin, the contour does what it needs to do. Look at that. You see how that just kind of just shows the oval shape a little bit better? And yes, I get it's rough right now. You know, you can see the contour pretty heavy. You can see the blush pretty heavy. But I haven't put the foundation on yet. I have almost all the coverage I need just about without any of the foundation as of yet. And that was like two drops, three drops of the 50 in the rose. Look how much saturation of color that is. There was two drops in there, or no, three. There was three drops and I had to spray some out. So the rose really does give a full, full coverage. A little dab of do you on that one. Okay, now here's the fun part, okay? Well, it's all fun. Let's just be real. It's all fun. But I am actually going to mix the Silk 30, which is a little, um, a little, a little darker than I am and prefer. It, I can make 30 work because it's airbrushing and it's forgiving and it works, right? But the 20 in the rose is a little lighter than I prefer, right? Okay. So guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to mix the silk and the rose together in two different shades. Those are two different coverages. They are two different shades. And I really love the way they look together. And I know it's crazy that you can mix different formulas that way, but I do. And I really love it. And so I am going to put three drops of the rose in there. And three drops of the silk in there. And then I am going to bubble, 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 and mix it. You do it all the time, Lori. I know, girl. I'm a mixer. I love it. Okay. So now I'm. we're going to just start going in 
And you know the routine. We're going to do our passes, three passes at a time, get the look that we want, all of that fun stuff. So you guys make sure that you go ahead and you let Heather know how much you missed her today. Um, she is not feeling well. If you're just getting on here to see the live, she didn't want to leave you guys hanging. She wanted y'all to have a demo today. And you, she knew that she had been out all week, but she really has come down with the gunk that you get during the holidays. And she wanted to make sure that you guys got a little bit of demo time with me. Um, so I'm stepping in, but let her know you love her. Send her some wishes, send her some love, send her some get wells, all of that fun stuff. Okay, so that's actually, that was probably two good passes um, in my four drops that I put in there. And I did put less in there than I normally would put in there because I did blush, I did bronzer, I did um, pre-coverage, all of that fun stuff beforehand. So I am actually, you know what, I think I want a little bit more because I am, I'm a full coverage girl and I like the full coverage. So I am going to pop in probably three more drops. One, two, three. And I'm going to do one more pass just in my T-zone area because I like the highlight in that area. So I'm going to come through here on the nose, under the eyes. There we go. And I think that's going to be just enough coverage for my preference. The thing about this is, is it's all preference, guys. It's all in the look that you like. It's all in the look that you want. Um, there are guidelines to how to do it and what makes certain looks, but really when it starts coming to the coverage and the look and the finish, it's preference. It's what do you want? How do you want to customize it? How much do you want to do? Let's get those little nose sides and all of that. Okay. That's it. That's the full coverage that I prefer. That was pre-coverage. That was highlighter, that was bronzer, well, contour, not bronzer. That was blush. Okay, let me get some lips on because they look in all kinds of dry and crusty at this point. Um, and that did it all. That gave me everything. Even that my skin still looks natural. Okay, so why does the powder underneath work so well? Quiz time. Let's see what you know. And there really is a scientific form for it. Why is it that we kind of like that look versus why is it I? <laughs> I don't know that everybody likes that look. Why is it that I like that look with the powder versus without it? Um, to me, it gives a velvety look, a softer look. Um, yes, it shows my skin, but it gives um, a little bit of a padding to me because it gives coverage. It does, except this was a translucent powder, so it doesn't necessarily give coverage. I mean, it didn't have any color to it, but normally, yes, it would. That You are absolutely correct, Lori. Normally, it would. So the reason that the powder trick works like it does is it, in a way, not really, but in a way, mimics traditional makeup. And, and when I say that, it's because it gives the foundation, the pigment that you're blowing onto your skin, something to stick to, right? And so if you like a supernatural look, like you are like, I want to see my skin. I just want things covered. I don't want that traditional makeup look. Okay, don't powder. <laughs> don't powder. But I like a makeup look. I'm a makeup artist. I got pink hair. I, I got a little edge. I like, I like glam. Like I like all, I look, I like all of this stuff. And so I like that little bit of extra velvety makeup look. So when you powder, it gives the pigment something to stick to. It, it, it puts a barrier between the skin and the airbrush foundation. Oh, my light just went out. It overheated, guys. That means it's time for me to stop because the lighting is gone. So let me see if it can read. Ah, there we go. So that being said, that is why it works so well. And that is why it's a different look. And that is why 
it doesn't settle into the pores. Like if you powder afterwards, it pushes the foundation into your pores. It pushes the foundations into your, your little wrinkles. But when you, when you powder first and then put the airbrush on, the airbrush coverage sits on top of the powder. And so it just makes a really pretty, really velvet look. And so I really, really like that technique. So thank you, Heather, for turning me on to that technique. It is my go-to. It also absorbs oil. If you get if you get oily in the t-zone it also absorbs oil and makes it to where you're not as oily as quickly okay so if you loved today i want you to go ahead and post a comment and say heather we miss you so much get well soon and thanks for sending someone to do the live we i loved coming out and hanging out with you guys and i also want to remind you hold on let me move over because it's going to make me go to the side. Cyber Week deals. You are going to want, oh, wait, this way. Wait, there we go. You want to take advantage of these deals, man. Like, I saw what they had on here, and I'm telling you, they are phenomenal. Take advantage of them. Like, a mystery beauty kit, $5, 10 and $20. That, those are stocking stuffers. You can't buy stocking stuffers at the dollar store for that. So get some of those beauty kits. Hook a sister up. Have some fun. Enjoy the beauty kit. I don't know if they're still doing the buy one, get one free foundations, but go to the website and check it out because if they are, you need to snatch them. You need to snatch them. Velvet Veil, if it's still on 50% off, you need to snatch it. Airbrush Cosmetics. All of those are on sale. You get 30% off on upgrades. So if you don't have a breeze yet, now's the time to get it. All of that, guys. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. And I will talk to you later. If y'all have any questions at all, remember that um, I am over at Luminous Live. And you can ask a question there, and I will be more than happy to answer it. It's a Facebook group. It's called Luminous Live. I'm there every day, Monday through Friday. There goes my light again. It's telling me that I need to get off here. Um, also, remember, we have beauty experts on the phone right here. This is their phone number. You can call them, talk to them. They'll help train you and all of that fun stuff. So I will see you later. Thank you, Lori, for coming on here. Thank you guys for hanging out with me today. And Heather will be back Monday.